we need at least one paperback and at least one hardback. So that reminds me of you know, when it says at least, you do total minus. Like total minus what they don't want, leaves what they do want. Um, so we do the total, which is uh, 10 books to choose from, and we're going to select five books overall, right? Um, now, total minus what they don't want, which is, and now there's not just one scenario, if they said total minus, or they said, if they said what's the probability of at least one hardback, I would do total minus no hardbacks or all paperbacks. This one says at least one paperback and at least one hardback. So you do total minus all paperbacks or all hardbacks. Because that, that each of those respectively you know, is the opposite of what they want for that situation. Now, so they want at least one paperback. So I'm going to do the situation where they're all hardbacks. Which is six hardbacks to choose from. And I'll be choosing five because they're all going to be hardbacks. Five hardbacks. And now I'd have to do the situations where they're paperbacks. Well, hold on a second. There's only four paperbacks. So I actually can't do a scenario where there's all paperbacks. So I don't have to worry about that. There's, there's no possible scenario where there's four paperbacks. So luckily, we're just done there.